Hello, today we are at the bottom of Merrivale Quarry and uh, Dad found a track that could actually take us parallel to the River Walkham up to Hucken Tor and Little King's Tor so we can resume that trip we did the other day. Let's try it. So the track says go into two or three farms. There's no other route to go through, so we're just going to try going down here. Our co-worker said um, this was a way to walk. It does look like going through someone's farm, but apparently the track goes through. All right, so that was a mistake. That's actually not a farm you pass through. That's, that is a farmer's... Uh, yard place he uh, came out to chat to us and said that the turning to get on the track is actually somewhere further down the hill which it's hard to see on the map it doesn't look like that but then it doesn't look like there's actually a track down there so yes you we will have to pass a couple of farms I think but they're on the actual track and the actual track you have to go downhill <laughs> hi sheep you have to cross over the River Walkham, you actually have to be on the other side of the River Walkham. Um, the east side, I believe, and it runs parallel on that side, so yeah, made a mistake map reading there. So there's the crossing over the River Walkham there, and we actually need to be up near that house or farm. Here we are. At the River Walkham. It's not actually as wide as I thought at this stage. So I can think you can see the track back there. Going through this different farm. Over tour. And this way is actually the right way. The hillside and there's public. If you ride all the sign there. This is moorland electricity, I guess. Oh I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the long ash land of blue sheep now. A little bit down from Long Ash. Did I mention it's the hot, hottest day of the year so far? 26 degrees currently. So, uh, brought water with us. It's uh, quite a long, hot slog. I don't know if this is part of Long Ash tour. I think it's more likely a spoil pile from quarrying. Here's our route for today. There used to be a fence here, I guess. There's something up there. Maybe it just belongs to the farm, I suppose. Maybe there's meant to be a fence there. Yeah, it's part, I think it's part of the farmer's stuff and... Uh, oh, it's a bit demolished. Reach the crest of this hill, now get some downhill and a bit of a view. Can't actually see any clumps of long ash tor up there. It's funny to think... Uh, when I was on that lower stack, if we did just walk downhill from that for a while, we would have found this spot. So that's Vixen Tour over there. We're going to pass parallel to that on this uh, track as we go. The thing I didn't know about Vixen Tour up until recently is it's on fully private land, and there have been like fights and stuff between council and Dartmoor National Park authorities and uh, the owner who lives there who's basically you know lawfully found out that like the tour and everything within the boundary wall are like her private land. I wonder if that extends to Rouge Tour which is a little bit across from it. I wonder if I'll still be able to reach that. 
three line demolished wall here, like in a Y shape. I think it's an old wall, because you've got, got that line coming all the way down here, and then I think one goes there and one comes here. What's, uh, so that's Vixen Tor. That is like Little Vixen Tor or something, I think. Um, which one is that? Is that Heckwood Tor, maybe? And I'm looking for Rouge Tor. I think it might be somewhere in the frame in this foresty bit. This track is a strange mix of tarmac grass and uh, old stone. Uh, it looks like it changes again to some concrete train tracks. <laughs> That's a bit odd. Maybe someone likes to drive here in a car so often. Look at that, that's a weird thing to see on the wall. There's a sign of the long ass sheep rubbing again. Rubbing their ink on stuff. <laughs> they take shelter under there. It's all blue. This is uh, this used to be some kind of farm gate. So we're reaching our second actual farm. Apparently the track can pass through this one. I say actual because there's meant to be a demolished farm in Huckham, next to Huckham Tor anyway, in the woods there. Are you liking this video? So the track does lead this way. To go with the tour, this is Long Ash Farm House. I think each farm has its own colour, and these are yellow marked sheep, you can see. A bit of a demolished building over there, maybe. I guess we're going to that gate there. Push! Yeah, there's some water around here. Maybe we're near Peelerbrook. We're probably near Peelerbrook. Another one. Little Kings and Kings tour. Might visit Little Kings tour today, which is this bunch. And uh, this might be the nearest we get to Vixen tour today. Private tour, so... Um, yeah, probably can't do a video standing on it or right next to it. Maybe walk to it from the other side sometime, but um, there's your Vixen tour. And I think what's in this field here is meant to be like little Vixen tour. All that kind of rocky, rocky glitter, mainly up in the top corner. In some ways I sympathise with the tourists walking around, but in some ways I sympathise with the landowner, to be honest. Because it's their private property. People shouldn't really be allowed to go on if they don't want them there. But, you know, it's a tour on Dartmoor at the same time, so... You can tell why there's wars over it. What are you doing here? So we're just coming out and look at some of the stones in your garden. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's basically that. There's quite a big field here full of uh, foxgloves and overgrownness. I wonder if the farmer owns that one. So we're about to cross Pila Brook, which is one of the two streams feeding into the Walkham that we got stuck on the other day coming out from Long Ash and we couldn't find a crossing point. This is the best crossing point, I guess. All the other points, even at King's Tour, are a mess. It's quite a nice little wood down here. So uh, there's some orange lichen here, which I think the last time we saw a lichen like this was at Princetown, Devil's Bridge, that's it. Coming Devil's Bridge on the way to, like, uh, Sweltor. What's that you're saying, Dad? Uh, if we'd have walked along, along there, we'd come to where we were on Sunday. Yeah, that's where we were from Long Ash Tor. Yeah, we weren't very far away from here. No, we weren't. We were up here. Look at these poles though. What are these pipes? 
That's strange. Maybe it's for access so someone can walk? Uh, maybe not. Maybe there's something flowing in them. Like waste pipes or something from their bathrooms. Ew. This weird plant here. That's weird. Gila Brook. And the other side goes into the Walkham eventually. Oh, you think that's a go and stand in it? Yeah. You reckon that's bog? Yeah, yeah it looks kind of boggy, doesn't it? <laughs> that's definitely bog. Yeah. Want me to do that experiment slightly? My foot was just going yeah, right in. Be worse in the middle. Wow. Okay, that might look, that looks like the worst bog we found actually. I think you might be able to sink kind of deep into that. Right there. Yeah, trapped water, trapped soil. So don't come off the path here. Really don't. So uh, there's some rocks if you want to get to this wall here. That's kind of a pretty pretty uh, little field there. I wonder if this is boggy down here. That's not boggy. Yeah, in fact, you can go around the back of the bog and uh, it's a sort of a track here. Hmm. I bet there's more bogs here though. Let's just have a quick look. Maybe this wall is a really strong wall that's keeping in all the water. Yeah, yeah I bet you can uh, follow the Peeler Brook down here until it meets the uh, Walkham River. Probably. It's quite a neat little woods though. Looks quite nice how the light comes in. I suppose this is uh, on to Hucken Tour and half the tour is going to be in these woods. Twisty trees. So not much now except Huck and Tor. There are some things called rock basins up there and uh, demolished farmhouse. those Rouge Tour, I wonder, or is it one we visited already? Or are these more flowers? Huck and Tour should be coming up on our left. The track sort of wraps around it close. So, um, shouldn't be too hard to find. There's a little bit you can enter there. There's probably some walks you can do around here. That's a strange fungus mushroom in that tree. There's a diagonal wall coming off the path here. Strange plant there in the green moss. I wonder if that's the same stuff. That boundary wall goes off to the right now, widening that woods that we're under. Quite a large area of woods. Very green grass. Is this boggy or should I try walking into it? Look how green this is. 
This is like some kind of TV show woods. Oh, there's fucking tall. It's quite dark, quite tall from here. Can you see it? Okay. Something hanging on the branch there. Dad's distracted by it. Looks like a rug or moss or something. He's like, how did that go? It's uh, bizarre. Maybe it's someone's old clothing or something. It's just been here so long, I don't know. But with the sun coming out in this lovely wood. This is a really nice wood. Just here. This is a really nice little wood. Look at this. Look at this place. There's like a TV show wood right here. Up in tours back there. This is what I'd like to believe like medieval woods look like based on like TV shows and films and stuff. They film them like uh, Robin Hood movies. Is it Robin Hood? Sheriff of Nottingham. They film them in places like this, I think. So Huck and Tor is not a small piece of rock at all. Look at this thing. This is a monster in the woods. Sleeping dragon, look at this. Goes all the way over there. Dad's pointing at something. Look at this. There's some little rock stacks in the wood there. Pretty big. I will show you how big it is compared to a person if the camera can't show it. It's kind of like a brick up there. It's very placid here. All the plants are going over it. It's a bit like a long timber tour up near Peter Tavy, except much grander. Maybe less tall, I don't know. Maybe it's about as tall. Second stack. Third stack, I've just noticed there's something else back there that's part of it. But uh, third stack. Look at how these foxglove-like plants are growing. Are they foxglove-like? I don't know. I've started seeing them around. It's uh, June. Late June. walking past this um, third stack now so I'm going to say that one that I'm not currently walking up to is a uh, fourth stack and maybe I'll go up there in a sec and I'm saying that because I think there's a fifth stack over here bye bye number three little uh, papery piled up stack of paper oh so uh, fourth stack over there is actually pretty big that's what I was looking at Look at this picturesque view. <laughs> I'm gonna go to uh, fifth stack first, I think, where Dad is. Okay. Calling this fifth stack and the one higher up fourth. I'm going over to this. Oh yeah, that's a gate you were talking about. So yeah, these are all pretty big, actually. Very big for a... Very big for a under the cover of a woods tour. Uh, this might be the biggest, actually, fifth stack. Yeah, I'll go through here. I'm going to open the gate. Well, that's easy. All right. I'm going into the gate around fifth stack. What is that? Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, fifth stack and uh, I guess part of it is it's like it's split in two by the gate sort of or is just a very appropriate gap in the tool to put a gate very big stacks 
These almost look balanced sideways, like at some point they could uh, go ksh, ksh, and just all fall off. Don't be today, please. Don't be today. Oh, the tree's holding them in place. This is like a scene from a Jurassic Park movie where a jeep is falling down the hill and then a, uh, a tree blocks its progress. <laughs> Nope. So this track continues on a bit and eventually it ends. I'm not sure where it ends. It's like some kind of alien head. I can hear some kind of animal up there. Anyway, this is a... Uh, that's the rest of this stack. That There's kind of a wall on it. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I heard a shuffling up here. Oh, maybe it's this bird here. Whoa, there he goes. Okay, maybe it's just a bird pecking around. Any more stacks up here? Greeny bit. Is there a path partially up it? Yeah, there's a wall there, that's why there's a gate, there's kind of a wall up on the tour, or on the grass on the tour. So, there's, it doesn't seem like there's, oh there's a head of that stack, that's kind of cool. It doesn't seem like there's any further stacks down here. I fucking hate it, hate it when an insect makes a weird noise near you. <sighs> that you're not expecting. Okay. Oh look, you can see there's a gap in the in the sliding uh, diagonal of the tour. The rest of that stack's a bit clearer now. What plant's this? This looks different too. So this is stack four again, and uh, I'm overheating a bit. There's a track here Dad's found. He says there's more up here. Stack four, it's kind of like some brownie rock there, almost terracotta. Mud and rock, making it reddish. We're on top of one of them, first or second stack. Oh, I think we're reaching the ones that stick out of the wood that we saw from Long Ash Tour now. A bit of a clearing here. Look at this. You can see the staple tours where we came from, sort of around there. You see Merivale, in fact, that we walked past at the start of the video when we got lost. Down just at the end of this. Uh, well, it's the tour, isn't it? I think we're on top of that particular bit of tour. Some rock here. And we're out in an open clearing. It's pretty good views from this open clearing. Oh, fucking hell. That was overheating in there. Adjacent to Vixen again. Is that Barn Hill tour behind there? I think it is. The Barn Hill rocks. Um, what, what else can we see? So, there's that peculiar tour, which could be Heckwood tour. Then uh, we got this, which could be Rouge tour. Wonder if I can access that. And then over there is indeed Pewtor. Hey, 
And in the woods somewhere there is dual rock. Can't see it. Another wall there. What's up? That's one large chunk of rock. Yeah. Yeah, it's loose, not actually in the... Oh, it's loose, well, like a Logan stone. Yeah, it's not in, it's not in ground, is it? It's just... Yeah, just sitting on top, is it? Well, from here. Right? There's a little kind of area surrounded by the tor in there. You can go into. Yeah, it's another jeep perched on a diagonal rock bit there. You got a surrounded bit here. I'm surprised the sheep aren't sleeping here. I suppose on a very windy day, they'd uh, favour it. Are we calling this stack four still? I guess so. That's not completely enclosed. There's some light shining through in the in the cave. Whoa! That's cool. I think it's over on that side. There was a wall there, wasn't there? Could you cross that wall or no? I thought that was... Oh, it's, yeah, it's a wall. Yeah. I thought it was just a walkthrough. Don't be wasps, don't be bees, don't be snakes. No, you can walk over here, Dad. This ain't hard. This is how you get on the moor. Oh, oh that's that that's wobbly there. Look at that. Look at that then. And now we're oh, there's uh, that's long ash tour over there now. We're on the other side of that uh, pillar brook from Long Ash Tour. Yeah. That's where we were. And this must have been what we saw. The very edge of something that is mainly in the woods there. There's a bit more of it around here too. So Dad's splitting off from me now. I'm gonna climb up a little bit of a high one. Listen to all these crickets. If I didn't know what an adder snake sounded like from uh, watching videos, I would have thought I'd be surrounded by snakes right now. Just noticed over there might be even more of fucking tour. Like a uh, sixth stack, I guess. It's, uh, doesn't seem to be a wall, seems to be some big rocks there. Yeah, that's quite an extensive tour in the woods there. Bit of a Logan stone there too. So which tour is that coming out? Maybe Leiden, or maybe Sharper Tour. Okay, so if I follow this line of trees, there's another wall there. I hope part of it is demolished so I can uh, step through. It's been virtually soundless until I reach this tree. Now it's like... <whistles> My damn mic can't actually pick up the nuance of. Yeah, so this wall's pretty good. And then we have King's Tour and Little King's Tour. There are like two stacks here. Okay, over the wall, that's the gap. Uh, so we sort of walk back in line with Vixen Tours and veer off slightly to the left, follow the trees. Now we're in open land, open Dartmoor. Although there is actually a bit of a wall there. There's a style. Well, I'm gonna go for that style. Maybe it means it's hard to cross the wall otherwise. But I think a bit of the tour is on this side of the style, am I right? Oh, thank fuck for that cool breeze. We're getting a little bit off now, getting higher up. A little standing stone, Logan stone of Hucken. It's quite a good landmark for getting back actually, because uh, more of a solid track leads there. Uh, actually seems to go right up to this style <laughs> yeah part of the tour is jutting out of the wall i can see a third stack now i'm 
try and count the reverse bottom from top. So at the moment I can see three stacks. So third is lowest. That's the nearest to me now. Third. Second. First. So there's a weird ass helicopter there. It's like a gazelle but with a tall rotor. Stack three. Yeah, it's barbed wire, so that's the only place you can cross is around here, I think. Right over there is that tramway. The bridge of the tramway we were on before we climbed up to uh, King's Tor. Which is, I'm having trouble finding it. There it is. We might be able to find one of these uh, cricket guys. Back of stack three. Yeah, this is pretty huge. This is a tour in its own right, I think. It shouldn't have to live under the shadow of the name of uh, King's Tour. It's so big, it should have its own name, I think. Second stack. So today we have come with a style. Oh, so good. Well, all this way. And uh, before I go, I'm gonna make it to stack one. It looks like there's something balancing there on it. And if I look wet, it's because I just poured an entire bottle of water down myself, or almost all of what's left. Very refreshing now, as the wind is uh, trying to evaporate it off me. So hot, so hot today. Oh. Seems like there's a track between stacks, which is good for this little wobbly dude. Is that a lock? I do not know. He's over on that gravestone thing now. I don't think he's a lock. He doesn't have the head tuft. Almost there. This line looks a bit man-made and I do remember a mini tramway, like something that comes off the tramway. Yes, a path, a track. And it rejoins the tramway, look. Yeah. I remember seeing that on a map after I went to King's Tor. And now I'm on it. it goes around this tour. And then joins the track. Uh, we're ascending. We're ascending. <sighs> What's a good way up? Maybe here? Yeah, here we are. At the top stone. <sighs> Someone's tried to can it, it hasn't really worked. Oh. And there's stack two. Stack three's hidden behind it. Oh god. I can actually lie on the top of the tour like a seat. <laughs> nice. It's not even that windy. 
It's a gentle breeze on a very, very hot day, which is all we need at the moment. From here, on the top, oh, you're liking this, of uh, Little King's Tour Stack 1, you can see King's Tour itself. Yeah, that, that had a really nice kind of uh, diagonal head lying down the stone, that was quite nice. <laughs> I've never understood the need for calling a car park a dramatic name like Four Winds Car Park. Okay, panorama time before I leave. We're at the top of a little king's tour. There's the other stacks of the tour we're on. In the background you can see Vixen Tour. There are a bunch of other tours around it, such as uh, Heckwood Tour, Rouge Tour, Clever uh, Tour, Windy Post Cross, there is Leeds up there, Farm Hill, then up there you can see Cox Tour, then you've got the three in a row with Merivale in the foreground, the three in a row are the staple tours, there's actually four in a row because there's one over here somewhere. And Roost Tour. Uh, I think that little valley is where the Walkham River goes. It will end up near Lynch Tour and uh, Standon Hill. Over here you've got our Great Mist Tour. Four Winds Car Park. Um, there's something peeping over the hill there, but it's too far away. There's um, the car parking you use to get to Fog and Tor Quarry. Up on the hill here, there's Hollow Tour. A couple tours we haven't been to, like Billy's Tour. Can we see Billy's Tour? Somewhere there, maybe. And Little Hattery. This is King King's Tour, the main big tour that we're attached to. You can actually see the tramway that wraps around, which is why I ran around here. Then uh, this side of the tramway nearest us is like a cliff, so you can't actually see the tour we're on from down there. Uh, I might go and have a look at that in a sec, actually. And you see the tramway comes out again there and goes over that bridge thing. Over there is... Swell Tour! Which has a massive quarry dug into it. And uh, we got... One stack of Leiden Tour, or maybe both, I can't tell. Ingra Tour in the foreground, in the background is Leather Tour on the left and Sharper Tour on the right. Uh, even more on the right is a hill with a little tiny thing that's Peak Hill. Uh, various towns and things outside Dartmoor, in Devon there, Cornwall, Tavistock, Yelverton, Hot Ridge. Um, Pew Tour, and it might be Rouge Tour, back to Vixen Tour. And here's proof that we'll have no chance seeing Dual Rock in summertime. Pew Tour, somewhere there's Sanford Tour, and there's that farm. And uh, so Dual Rock is uh, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Right here. Maybe around there. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, that's quite boring. Like, I wonder if any fella lives in there. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. No. Nope. Can't see nothing. So I'm just going to go over towards King's Tour. Have a look at that tramway, and uh, that'll be mostly it. This is a nice short walk over here. Might be actually, uh, might be a good place for a tent around here. I'm not quite sure where is the flattest, but okay. So now we're on the edge of the steep wall of the tramway. Little iron peg in the ground there. And that's why I could not see Little King's Tour when I came up. It 
when I went up there and I went around there and then I went up there. Because of this steep banked wall, wouldn't have seen it, wouldn't have known it was here. Didn't read the map. <laughs> Not properly at least. So that's all for today basically. Uh, we finally got over the um, river, what the hell's the river called? Pila Brook. That's a hard river to remember. Pila. God, it sounds Italian like Pisa. Yeah, we finally got away across there. Yeah, and uh, today we managed to get to Huckin Tor and Little White Tor. Thank you for watching. This is the right tour.